All right, hello class. Day two of remote learning, week two. It's Tuesday, April 21st. So happy Tuesday. Um, first of all, how are things going? Are you able to manage the work for your school so far? Are you not staying up late and leaving work last minute? Helps to be in dialogue with yourself to help solve problems and of course, communicate with others. So if you're running into issues, email me. I've already gotten some emails from some of you. Thank you for the emails. Um, number two, so I was doing some reflection last night on where I want the the course to go the next few weeks and, and how I want you guys to be learning. Um, so I'm going to be putting out a survey probably tomorrow, maybe today, asking you all for your interest and what you would like to learn the next couple of weeks in this class specifically. There are a bunch of ways this could go. I'm not saying we're just going to learn like about the history of ice cream, for example, but something a little bit different. So I may go a little bit renegade with the traditional course material, what I originally laid out. Um, it's pro mainly because I, I want this to be a, a good experience for you and for me so that I don't get bored, but so that we're doing new things. Um, that's really the main reason. So uh, stay tuned for that. That being said, it's a uh, discussion day today and it's it's not as complex as you think. All right, four tasks today. Number one, read or watch this PowerPoint to understand what we are doing today and where we are headed. Number two, there are three videos that you guys are gonna watch. And two of them are not very long. One of them is decent length, but these are regarding the prisoner experience in the concentration camps and the liberation of these camps. Um, so you're not gonna be taking notes during any of these videos. Video one is one minute, video two is four minutes, and video three is Things, but they're all well worth watching, and I'm pretty sure the time will fly by just watching them. Task number three once you have finished watching these three videos, you're going to be posting a comment in the discussion forum. Answer the following question in three sentences or more What is the meaning of human dignity? And then after you've posted that, you're going to respond to two of your classmates' thoughts, opinions, um, maybe giving a different answer to what they gave, sharing your answer, who knows. It's really up to you, but keeping it civil and respectful because the Holocaust is a very sensitive unit so and topic. So let's keep it that way. Uh, number four, continue to work on your Holocaust project if you haven't made good progress already. Take at least 10 minutes. Of course, Thursday's a work day. The week ahead, Wednesday, tomorrow, notes on the aftermath of the Holocaust. Thursday, project work day and review for the test. Friday is your Holocaust unit test, 25 questions, one hour timer. And then of course, the big things that are due by Sunday, the test and the project. So yeah, main thing, watch the three videos, discussion post, and of course, keeping um, an eye out for that survey I mentioned. So that's it for today, you guys. If you have any questions, email me. Um, yeah.